Okay, so I will be uh, Tor just embarked on a two-year performance and scalability project that um, I will be talking about. We started this in October. Um, so to get started, though, I want to give down from our metrics to show what the Tor network and Tor performance currently looks like. Right here, we have a uh, graph showing the total relay uh, capacity. Uh, in the top line in green is the total relay capacity of work. And the bottom line in purple is the actual usage or utilization of the Tor network. Um, as you can see, the Tor network has been increasing. We've been adding relays uh, continuously throughout this span from 2011 to 2020. We've had a couple of good events here. We had uh, when uh, Edward Snowden made his disclosures on the surveillance of the NSA, that actually encouraged quite a few people to start show up and start running Tor relays. However, strangely, the number of people or the utilization of the Tor network didn't increase quite as much. You can see the, the slope of the purple line didn't go up quite as much as the, the amount of capacity we added. Similarly, when uh, Trump became president and was inaugurated, well, we also had a denial of service attack and some attacks on the network, so it was a brief loss of capacity. But then after that, the rate of people running Tor relays and volunteer community was even more uh, mobilized, seeing that pretty much anyone could take control of the surveillance apparatus that Snowden warned us about. And even more people started running even more Tor relays. But still, the while, the, again, the rate of usage of that relay capacity increased, it did not increase quite as much as the, uh, the, the relays that were added. And if you can see in 2020, right here at the end of the graph, we're using less than, we're actually using less than half of the total capacity on the Tor network. If you look at some more metrics graphs from again, metrics.torproject.org, here we have the download throughput, the download uh, rate when downloading through a, a public internet server over the Tor network from three different measurement points. Uh, during uh, Snowden's uh, relay campaign, effective relaying campaign, performance did in fact increase. You see the throughput is increasing on all of our three measurement points up to about 2015. And then things sort of start to level off. Uh, the throughput sort of just remains constant from 2015 onward. And if you look at the situation today, you, we can see that it's still flat at that same throughput. Um, and if you look at closely at these graphs, on the left we have the public server and on the right we have uh, onion service downloads. The onion service strangely is half, the throughput is half of the exit throughput. Even though exits are often scarce and there's not enough of them um, and onion services don't use exits, there's still almost exactly half from our measurement points. Additionally, our measurement points have some variation in performance. So there's quite a few strange things going on here on the Tor network that we're going to aim to fix. Um, you know, despite a huge influx of Tor relays, Tor is still slow. You know, the network capacity is at all time high, but 50% of it is unused. Relay operators are coming to us saying they're trying to run fast Tor relays, but they're not, if they put like a gigabit at a, a relay up, they're not able to use that, that all that throughput. The, there's just not enough Tor traffic seemingly, or the Tor clients are not able to util, utilize all of that. And client throughput is has been flat since 2015. Clients just aren't getting faster, even though there's more capacity being added to the network. And onion services are half as fast as exits. So, okay, so we have two years to fix all this. What are we gonna do about it? We started in October. Uh, the main focus of this performance and scalability projects is gonna be four main areas. We're gonna try, we're gonna work on congestion control, which will allow us to increase the window size, which turns out to be the reason why that throughput is flat because Tor uses what's called fixed window sizes. The, there's a cap on the through, throughput that's also dependent on latency. Um, conge proper congestion control will fix that. Load balancing, the ability to allocate re uh, client traffic to relays that have that spare capacity, improvements there will, will, will help as well, as will helping to route latency and route throughput. Here's the specific nitty gritty technical details if you want to try and chase some of this stuff down. 
tour specification proposal 324 uh, talks about doing round trip time based congestion control to do provide dynamic windows uh, we'll be working on load balancing improvements to uh, SBWS, flash flow, and relatedly network health, which Garrett will talk about in, uh, in a few minutes. We're currently doing route latency parameter tuning with circuit build timeout, and we'll be looking into traffic splitting across multiple circuits. Now, most of these improvements are actually client and parameter based. Some will require exit upgrade. Uh, particularly congestion control, and all of these will require careful tuning and experimentation throughout the duration of this project, which Jim will talk about next. Um, but we were able to prototype some of these ideas just to see how fast we could go with with just the client through uh, the client side improvements, and we were able to get five megabytes a second over this uh, a full six hop Onion service circuit downloading React OS, you know, opening up the windows. Uh, of the world, thought, thought it would, that would be a good demo. Um, five megabytes a second over six hop onion service, where normally you'd only see like 200 kilobytes to 500 kilobytes a second max. And this is just with the client side improvements. But uh, if everybody did what we did in that in that prototype, it wouldn't the it wouldn't really work. The network would become unbalanced. So proper fixes to these will have to provide. Fairness. We're going to have to tune them well, which Jim will talk about some of the uh, uh, tools we'll be using for that. Um, and then with proper fixes, proper congestion control, proper tuned uh, deployment, the network will reach a new equilibrium and we'll be able to actually use all of that spare network capacity and clients will all have faster performance. We'll be able to make full use of our of our tour network, which hopefully may make our, our hardworking relay volunteers very happy. Uh, so to talk about how we're going to be testing some of these uh, improvements and how we do run these sorts of experiments, I hand over to Jim to talk about uh, tour network simulation.